Hey guys, it is Wednesday, April the 29th, so we are going to talk about an adaptive skill today, or actually a couple of adaptive skills. I'm coming to you from my bedroom. This is where I like to spend time relaxing, kind of to get away from my family sometimes because, you know, I have four kids that range in age from 17 to 23 and they're all home right now, so I like to come in and relax. I read on that or my phone over here behind me I have my treadmill where I can take some walks when the weather's not good and there's my TV back there but I try not to watch it till nighttime but what I was going to talk to you about today first parents and child would be the first thing I want you to think about is taking this time to learn how to do something new Maybe something that you parents enjoy um, or that your child enjoys but that they aren't very independent with, like taking care of pets. You see this morning, there's my dog, Frazier. Frazier is 12. He's very sleepy. And then where's Lily? There's Lily, my little poodle that you guys have seen before. This break would be an excellent time to teach your child about helping to take care of their pets at home, whether that's taking the pet for a walk or giving the pet its food and water. Another thing that you might enjoy or that your child might enjoy would be learning how to do things out in the yard, whether that's pulling weeds or maybe planting some flowers or a vegetable garden. Um, our weather's getting nice and warm, so that would be a great thing to think about. And the last thing I was going to suggest would be to clean out a closet or your toys. Maybe sort some out that you don't play with anymore and you could give those away since some families don't have enough, um, enough toys and people are having a hard time during this bad bug. So those are three ideas for things that you could think about. And I want you to think because there's probably things that you enjoy that you could teach your child about or that you're husband might enjoy whether that's fishing or maybe car repairs just something really basic that your child could participate in this is a good time to do that and then the second part of my tip for today involves teaching your child about avoiding some dangers within the home this is um, a little different type adaptive skill but it's very important first thing I was going to mention was hot versus cold and of course that's applicable for things in your kitchen your appliances your stove and also the water in your bathroom so to teach your child the difference and how to avoid things when they're hot then the second thing is um, locked versus unlocked or staying inside the home without notifying the, the parent whether you have to put a lock up high or a stop sign on the door but for your child to understand that they stay in the house unless you know about it. And then the last thing, um, familiar versus unfamiliar or stranger danger is another way to think about that. You could probably pretty easily find some videos on YouTube or a story about that. But um, unfamiliar goes for both people and it also goes for animals. We have a neighbor that got in trouble with a dog recently. so. Those are just some um, things that you don't think about as much for adaptive skills, but that are important and your child may not know them. So I encourage you to spend a little time um, talking with your child and maybe teaching them a little bit about these things during this extended period of time that we have at home. So anyway, that's it for this Adaptive Wednesday. And I'll be back tomorrow with Walt for our Sensory Motor Thursday. All right. Bye-bye. Have a great day.